Hello kids, I am Monica Mahendru, your English teacher from Little Angels High School. Today, we are going to do a poem, The Dark, and the poet of this poem is James Carter. Dear children, what comes to your mind when you read the name of the poem? Dark, something scary, something which can, you can be afraid of. But dear kids, let me assure you, reading and understanding this poem will let you know something really good about dark. What do you see on your screen? This is a picture of stairs going to some unknown dark room. Now dear kids, what do you have on your screen? Yes, this is a picture of night. One thing common about both the pictures is that they both are black, dark and scary. But students, do you ever have a thought, why do we fear the dark? Does it really, does any harm to us? Does it take something from us or does it hurt us? To clear all these doubts and questions about the darkness, today we will read, understand and learn the poem, The Dark. So let's read the poem. Why are we so afraid of the dark? It doesn't bite and it doesn't bark. Or chase old ladies round the park. Or steal your sweeties for a lark. And though it might not let you see, it lets you have some privacy and gives you time to go to sleep, provides a place to hide or weep. It cannot help but be around when beastly things make beastly sounds, when back doors slam and windows creak, when cats have fights and voices shriek. The dark is cozy, still and calm, and never does you any harm. In the loft, below the sink, it's somewhere nice and quiet to think. Deep in cupboards, pockets do, it's always lurking out of view. Why won't it come out till it's night? Perhaps the dark's afraid of light. Dear kids, now let me explain the poem to you. In the first paragraph, the poet says, Why are we so afraid of the dark? It does not bite us. It doesn't even bark at us. It never chases us. It never steals any of our sweet things, even as a prank. But still, we all are afraid of dark. In the second stanza, the poet says that darkness is the thing which gives us privacy. Whenever we want to sleep soundly, it provides us a cozy place. It provides us a place whenever in our sad moments we need to hide or weep or cry. It's darkness is a place where we can go and hide ourselves. Next stanza tells us that darkness stays around us whenever any unpleasant beastly things are there or sounds are there when the doors slam or the windows creak the cats shriek that is they make some unpleasant sound what is along with us it is darkness which is along with us the next paragraph dear students the poet says that dark is cozy calm and peaceful. It never harms us. It stays at the rooftop in the loft. It is also present under the sink. It is like a place where you get time to think quietly and peacefully. The last stanza tells us that it is present in the cupboards. It is there in the pockets of your tires. It is always waiting and moving with you in a secret way. Do you ever think why it never comes out till it is night? Because maybe the dark 
whom we all are afraid of itself is afraid of light dear kids this is the total explanation of the poem i hope you understand the poem well keep watching the video many a times to understand it better dear children this beautiful poem is an excerpt from weird wild and wonderful published by otterberry books uk here i would also like to mention credits to the poet for his wonderful creation which has shown us the positive side of darkness dear kids i am also uploading the word meanings of the poem to so that the poem is well understood by you till then please keep revising your e sessions for better understanding keep record of the notes provided to you with each lesson keep learning dear children till then stay home stay safe god bless you all bye bye dear kids